All right, now we're going to be making banana pancakes from New York Times bestselling author Leanne Brown's Good and Cheap. You can follow along with us on page 12 for the recipe. So we're going to take our dry ingredients. This is a one bowl wonder, which I really love. We're going to add all of our dry ingredients first. And then we'll put our brown sugar in there. Give this a little stir. We don't want any lumps because the pancakes that are overmixed end up coming out tough. So we want to mix this as little as possible once we get the wet ingredients inside. So making sure that the dry ingredients are nice and even before that comes to the party is the best way to do that. We're going to put in our wet, our mashed bananas, two eggs, and our milk. We've actually gone ahead and mixed our vanilla in with the milk. Recipe calls for vanilla extract. I used a vanilla bean paste. It just has a little bit of the specks in the vanilla, from the vanilla in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we break our yolks. And we are not going to stir this more than 30 seconds. Some lumps are gonna be okay. Make sure you're scraping around the side of the bowl, the bottom of the bowl. One more time. All right, just wanna make sure there are no dry pockets of flour. And we are done. We're gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes. And once this is all set, we will come back, make up our pancakes. All right, our batter has rested and we are going to, we're now preheating our pan onto medium to medium low. We've got a nonstick skillet here, preferred. We're just gonna put in about a teaspoon of unsalted butter. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. You also wanna preheat your oven to the lowest setting, either a warm, about 170 degrees to Keep the pancakes warm while you're finishing them up. All right, once we think our pan is hot enough, we wanna go ahead and do a test batch. I like making mine a little bit smaller. All right, they should spread a little bit, but not too much to the point where they're touching each other. I'm gonna go ahead and put two of our thinly sliced pieces of banana. All right, we're gonna let these cook for about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side, but you'll really know that they're done when the bubbles start coming up and they hold. If they're still breaking, that means they've got a little bit of time, but you can always peek underneath after about a minute or so once you start seeing the edges firm up. All right, we see here some of the bubbles are starting to break. Making sure we're getting even heating. Let's give this another peek here. Still a little light. It's probably gonna go for about another 20 seconds. All right, let's get underneath there and carefully give it a flip. Nice. Same thing with this guy. Working on a smaller pan does make it a little bit more difficult, but definitely. 
be a little patient. Make sure you get the right angle and flip. Don't worry if they're not all that pretty, they're still gonna taste great. And on this side, it's gonna take no less than another minute. No more than another minute. Sort of give it a little, real firm. They've cooked most of the way through on the first side. If you wanna give them a touch test, they should bounce back and not feel squishy. That's how you know they've pretty much cooked all the way through. All right, I'm gonna take these guys out, put them onto our pan, and set them in the, our preheated oven to stay warm. All right, we've finished our batch of pancakes and we are going to go ahead and give them a little syrup and a taste. Pat of butter. And that's gonna be perfect. Hope you guys enjoy this. You can also, as an alteration, you can do blueberries. If you're gonna do blueberries, you wanna do the ones that are gonna be in the batter, frozen, about a half a cup, and then you can use fresh blueberries or just slightly thawed blueberries to put them on top, the same way we did the other bananas. Strawberries, you're putting strawberries in the batter itself. You wanna cut them up a little bit more finely and then just use sliced strawberries in the batter. All right, enjoy, guys.